Mm-hmm. Talking about tens. All right. How many tenses we have in our sentences? All right. So how many tenses? Hmm. Before that, so we're going to use the sample first. Okay. So let's use go. All right. Go. G O. Okay. This one is the original form of go, so we call this one infinitive. See? Infinitive. Now, uh, we can think about this time frame. That means must talk about the past form, right? Alright. That means I'm going to write past right here. Okay, past. Then what? Now, these days, now, today, that's what? Present. That's right. Present. Okay. The next one, like a tomorrow, next year. Okay. That's a future, right? See? Okay, what is the past form of go? That's right. Yesterday I went. Oh, <laughs> very good. Okay, went. Okay, what about present form? Yep, I go, he goes. Okay, so like go or goes, right? What is the future form? That's right. You just put what? Maybe will go or shall go, right? Okay. Shall go or will go. What is the next form of tense? Mm -hmm. Perfect tense. You heard about it. That's right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect tense form is usually we put what? Have, right? Have or had or has uh, whatever. Okay. So, how are we going to put this one in past perfect form? That's right. So, past form of have is a head, so head, then past participle of go is gone. Okay. Now, what is the present form? That's right, I have, she has, okay, so have or has. Then gone. See? I have gone. I've gone. Alright. What is the next one? A future perfect. That's right. Will or shall. Okay. So will have gone. That's it. The next form of tense is progressive. You know that already. Okay. Progressive. Very good. Simply, we can say perfect tense is have plus past participle. But Progressive form, you know that, that's be verb plus B means what? M, R, E, words, were, okay, things like that. Then plus present participle, if I put PP, then you get confused with past participle. So simply, a lot of people using ING, okay? ING, which is present participle. Okay, then, uh, 
we can use that. Okay, so what is past progressive? That means past means yesterday. Okay, so I was going, you were going, okay, things like that. So, okay, let me use just the one, okay, just the I. Okay, I was or he was going. That's it. What about present? That's right. I am going. He is going. You are going. Okay, so maybe am or is going. Okay? So now, uh, the future form, that's right, will okay, be going. Wow! So far, how many we have here? So, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, total nine so far. All right. So we're gonna have more. What is the next thing you think? All right. What's the next? Oh, that's right. You know what? Perfect and progressive together. Perfect progressive. Fantastic. All right. I can write maybe perfect gay and progressive. Okay, so progressive. That's it. Actually, how are you going to add this one and this one together? Oh, right. So easy. Had been going. All right. Had been going. Ooh, great looking. All right. What is the present form of these two together? Right there. Then means have. Okay. So let me put this one. Have been going. Obviously, you can use that. Has she has been going? Okay, same thing. Okay, what about the future form of these two together? See, okay, then will or shall? Okay, so I'm gonna write just will. Okay, will have been going. Great. Now, you can tell me exactly how many we have, how many tenses. All right, great. That's what uh, you know how to count. So, total 12 tenses. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, most people understand past, present, future. Okay, so regular past form. That's no big deal, all right? No big deal. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Okay, now, we are using this one many times. Okay, so I was going. Okay, so I am going to school. Things like that. So, uh, no big deal about this. Things, okay. Okay, so also, not many times we're going to use this one. Okay, but no big deal anyway. So, we talk about this one later. Okay. So, now, I'm going to ask you what perfect tense is okay so perfect tense like this okay so this this is the question right here okay so try this okay so Tom is asking Jerry do you have any knife I can borrow Jerry says okay this is the multiple choice right here I lost it it's number one Number two, I have lost it. Which one is right? Uh huh. I lost it. I lost it. That means the past form. This is the past, right? Okay, so past. This one is what? 
present perfect. Okay, say present perfect. Okay, now, uh, what is the difference between the past form and present perfect? See? Okay, past form, actually, you didn't answer right. Okay, that means I lost it maybe last year, or you lost that knife maybe about one month ago, but you didn't answer for now. See, now, what? You have it or not? But you said, just I lost it. That means, you lost some time ago, but you didn't answer him back. Okay, so right answer back yet. Okay, that means which one's right? That's right. Number two, you know why? Number two, I have lost it. That means, okay, this have lost means actually including two sentences together. See, two sentences. Another word. Okay, two time frames together. See? So this one means I'm going to change this sentence, right? Okay, just like this. Equals like this. I lost it, which is the past. So I do not have it now see now you see it so two sentences right here I lost it so I do not have it now okay that's exactly what that means okay you just, so you can change this sentence I have lost it to this sentence right there okay more sample uh, somebody call you on the phone uh, say person A saying let me talk to Mary and person B answers one, two, three multiple choices alright okay she's gone home she went home she has gone home mm -hmm. okay this one this is what Oh, passive voice. That's not right. Okay, you cannot use passive, uh, passive voice. Okay, for that one. So that's not right sentence. Okay, this is a no go. That's totally wrong. Okay, what about she went home? You know what? Actually, you didn't answer right because she went home last year. She went home yesterday. Come back. So she's at the office now what okay you're not answering right okay so that's why this is also no good okay so no good all right so now what about this one told you this one has two sentences right so okay so let me change this one Just like this one she when home So she is not here. Here. What? Always. Remember? Now. So she is she is not here at this moment. Right now. Okay. So that's it. That's why we have to use what? She has gone. A lot of people say she's gone. That means actually it's not, that's not. She is gone. She has gone. Okay. This one is the, the good answer right there. All right. We are so happy. Now we know the perfect tenses. Okay. So thanks, Aja.